Okay, so we're in Gran Turismo 4. You might notice that my credits are a little bit um, high, uh, let's just say, for someone who just started playing the game. Um, I have 74 cars in this game save. Did not earn them or buy them. If you don't like cheaters, I suggest getting off the game or getting off the video right now because I downloaded a, a, a game save and and I'm playing somebody else's game save and how, how they got this much, I don't know. I don't ask questions. But this is my first time playing Gran Turismo 4. I know there are 721 cars, if I remember what I googled, and there's a lot of races, and I, I want to just get into action in the game, and I want to drive some cars. I know that some of them you can buy, but some of them you have to earn, and I just want to be able to get to earning some of the more fun cars and driving and just having fun with the game. I don't actually care about doing it the right way. I've done a lot of things the right way my whole life. This is not going to be one of them. Um, so to start off my adventure uh, in Gran Turismo 4, I just, want to ex I just want to look through all the cars and maybe do a little bit of a shopping spree. Um, I thought that might be fun to do in a video because 721 cars, that's a lot. Uh, my experience with Gran Turismo has been PSP, the PSP version, and I don't think there's that many in that version of the game. Um, maybe, like, I don't even know how many. Um, I'll look it up and I'll put it here. Um, but I, I definitely don't think it was that many. Uh, but I want to go through all the dealers and use dealers. And um, <laughs> I think half of those are like different versions of the Miata and the Skyline and the Subaru Legacy and the WRX. But either way, we're going to go through and I'm just going to buy whatever and look at what they've got here. Um, and hopefully you enjoy that, um, because I'm excited to play Gran Turismo 4, which is like the most popular and beloved version of this game. I know it's kind of downhill from there. Um, anyway, uh, I'll guess so we'll just get into it. Uh, starting with the US, I guess? Um, let's see what I got. Cadillac. Some classics. Cadillac, what? CN. Oh, this is great. I like that. Can't buy it, though. Uh, I guess you earn that. So, uh, I know this car from a couple of movies. I've seen this in some movies. This was, this was like a V12, right? I don't know, does it tell me? Will it tell me? Will it tell me if I can't buy it? It doesn't tell me shit, but 7.5 liters. Okay, that's a V12. That's great. I love that car. I, that will be probably one of the first races I do, because I want to earn that. I love that car. That's I, It's one of the coolest things that they've never put into production. What's next? Okay, Dodge... Um, Neon SRT4, of all the versions of the RAM, why not the SRT10? This came out in what, 2004? Okay, the SRT10 was definitely out, why not, like, this is the stupidest version of the RAM. I think this was in the PSP version too, that's so stupid, I hate that. Okay, the Viper GTSR, the normal Viper GTSR concept, and, okay, um, that's fine. And Super B, normal 440, and the Gen 2 Viper. So, yeah, okay, that's great. Plymouth. Do they have the Prowler? I want the Prowler. <laughs> Plymouth Prowler. Give me the... Nope, just the Sakuda and the Superbird. I don't care about either of those. I'm going to end up probably buying some car. Like, I can tell up the top that there's an Audi RS6 Avant, which, that's a great car. Oh, okay, the Series 1. Okay, this is cool. I like this one. I'll buy one of these for sure. Um, what color stripe? That's, oh, what a tough choice. Silver blue. Um, yeah, we'll do that. These are cool. These are cool cars. Yeah, why not? We'll get in that. There we go. I like that. That's a cool car. And then, oh yeah, classics. I guess that makes sense. We got the, yeah, okay, Shelby G350R. It'd be cooler if it was the H, but I won't complain. Can't buy that yet. And then the Cobra. I'll buy that. The 
Grand Turismo sounds are nice. It's just that's just nice sounds, nice music. Cobras are classic. I, I wonder how hard. <laughs> this, I wonder um, in a lot of games the Cobras are just very rowdy. I wonder if that's gonna be like that in this one. Oh yeah, of course the DeLorean. I never understood why they went with the newer, like, revamped DeLorean from, like, the 2000s when the company kind of reopened. Kind of a weird thing to me. I don't know if it's, like, a product placement type thing. That's kind of weird. I don't care about Mercury. Chaparral. Oh, there's some really cool Chaparral uh, race cars. Oh, yeah, these are cool. Those are both very cool. Okay. Um, I like this one. I'm going to buy this one. I don't like the way the other one, the other one is kind of stupid looking. I don't know much about them. I think they have uh, good buildings, but I don't know much about them other than that. And I don't even know if that's 100% right. But this thing looks good. I had a model of this thing for a long time that sat on my shelf. And then it got lost when I moved. This thing's great. I'm excited to drive this one. That intake is massive. This thing must suck in huge amounts of air. Holy shit, okay. Um, Scion, okay, it's gonna be like the XB, Infinity. Are they? Infinity. It's weird how they categorize these in like American, like this isn't really like an American company, but I guess they sell in America or like it started for the American market. FX45, that's weird how they put the concept version of that in. I guess when they started like production of the game, it would still be in concept maybe if they started making the game in 02 and they just never bothered putting in a production version. It's kind of weird. That's weird. Okay, Eagle. I guess it's probably going to be like the Eagle Talon because I can't imagine them putting in. Which is also just weird that they do that. Right? Like why? Yeah, it's going to be the Eagle Talon. That's weird. That's weird. Like why? They already probably have the like older Eclipse. This is going to be GNX. I'll buy one of those. I like those. I like those a lot. Um, I don't know why they put... What is the other one? The Buick Special. That's, interesting. That's an interesting one. Looks modified. And then Pontiac. I don't know why I started in America. America's like, I don't really care too much about American cars. Pontiac Vibe, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Okay, I love the Vibe, that's great. The Sunfire GXP concept? I never even knew that was a thing. That's awesome. And the Solstice Coupe concept, that's ugly. But so are the normal Solstices. Um. I might come back for the vibe just to mess around with that. And the GTO Tempest Le Mans. I like the like next generation Tempest. New cars. And Fords. So we got the Focus ST and the RS. And the SVT Lightning. See, they have the SVT Lightning, but why why would they not have the um, Ram SRT10, this to make sense. And then they have the GT concept and the 4 GT. And then they have the Focus rally car, but there's gotta be, like, better rally cars, or, like, different, I don't like the Focus all too much, so. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's great. That's, um, that's, okay. Yeah. That's fun. I want that. I really want to drive that oh, just around the Nürburgring so bad. Okay. 4GT. Oh, yes. See, that's not... I don't... I'd rather have... Um, okay. Yeah, that's... Okay. I like the GT40 a lot. Okay. Uh, SSO. Oh, yes. Okay. SSR is another one of your pleasure cars. I love those. 
I'm, I'm, anything that's like that goofy with a V8 and a man, and you can get it with a manual, I'm all in on that. That's 100%. Then you got the Camaro, the C5 Z06, and... See, they could have just put the normal Silverado SS in, instead of this weird, like, concept version. That just looks awful. Ew. Like, if they wanted to do that, I don't care about whatever. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, okay, you got the C1 and the C2. And the Camaro and the other Camaro. And the C3, and you have the C... Oh, the C4ZR1! Okay. I guess technically that would be... See, I just... Uh, in my mind, it's not like... I guess that is a classic. Quasar blue. Turquoise. That's a great... That's a very 80s, 90s color. That's a Buy one of those for sure. Okay. Chevelle SS. I might come back. I'll probably come back for one of those. IROC Z concept? Those wheels are a trip. Holy shit. What is that back? I've never seen. I guess, well, with concept, I guess I wouldn't, but I've, that's an interesting back end on a Camaro like that. And then you have the Good Wrench C5R. That's a, it's kind of like, it's kind of like an iconic race car. That's that's pretty, that's pretty um. That's that's, that's pretty like notable. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. If I find a race where I need a race car, I'll probably buy one of those. Obviously, there's gonna be races where I'll need a race car. I'm stupid. Uh, P2 Cruiser, of course. Crossfire be better if they have the SRT6. Chrysler Prowler! Okay. Can't, I don't think I can buy it. It doesn't have a price on it. I like the Chrysler Prowler. No, I cannot buy that. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'll, I'll have to see. I'll have to look up which race I need to win to get that one. I bet it's some kind of manufacturer, like a manufacturer, and then you have the 300C, but not the SRT. Okay. Yeah, there's one make races. I buy have to win a one make race or something to get the Chrysler Prowler, but that's weird that it's not the Plymouth Prowler. It's like how the, there's, was it Canada where like the Dodge Intrepid was Chrysler Intrepid or something? Something like that. Panaz. Panaz. Okay, it's, okay, so it's gonna be a race car, not the street version, which is fine. I, I, that's, that's fine. I think they did pretty well in their class as far as race cars go, so that's understandable. Maybe I'll get one of those instead of C5R and be different. Because I'm different. Uh, the S7, that's fine. I didn't know they started making those in 02. I thought, it was, I thought they started in 03. Very big, very large cars. i always on the fence if I actually like them or not. Because they just look very big and disproportional. But they're very good cars, objectively. Even for like now, they're very good. Callaway, please be the C12. Please be, yes, it's going to be the C12. Oh my god, that's awesome. I mean, I like any Callaway, but the C12 is just so cool. Oh, what color? I'm definitely buying one. Um, I guess I'll just go with the classic red. It would be cooler if it was the, like, rare FRC. Uh, C12 that was built off an FRC. Um, Corvette, but that's okay. I'll take any C12. I, beggars won't be choosers. I am actually not beg, but that's fine. I like that. Um, what is that? Jay Leno? Is that what that says? Jay Leno's got cars in Gran Turismo? This tank car. That makes sense. Holy shit. <laughs> that thing's a menace. I remember seeing YouTube videos of this thing. But... To, that it being in Gran Turismo is um, is menacing. That's what the fuck would you use it for? Okay, I'm intrigued. Lexus. Lexus is not an American company. It's not. Um. Okay. Okay. The SC430. I love the SC430. I'm buying one. Red on black. That's a rare. That's a rare color combo on these. Red on black. I'll buy that. So I actually want to that. It's not a, like the red's not a rare color, and neither is a black interior, but getting red on black is a rare color on these. For anybody that cares about the SC430s, that's a rare color, um, rare color combination on these. 
not too many sold like that. All right. See, like, even here, they have, like, the Japanese version <laughs> of the IS-200. Like, so it's not, it's not even, like, an American, it's not an American car company by its own admission. And the IS-200 was never even sold in America. That was sold in, like, other markets. We had, all, all we had was the IS-300, which is this. <laughs> um... Which is cool. I like the IS-300, but you couldn't get these with a stick. Although, I mean, they're easy enough to swap over because it's the same goddamn thing, but... But you could get the Sport Cross in, in yellow, which... And it's a wagon, which makes it better than the normal IS-300. Everything's better in yellow and as a wagon. So... I'm buying that one. And, I mean, the IS-300 is such a cool car. It's a nimble little four-door comes with a naturally aspirated 2JZ, which means it's super easy to turbo, and you could autocross it, make it a great handling car, you could easily turn it into a drift car, even if you get an automatic one, it's easy to manual swap. They're so, they're just, and they're honestly just great dailies too. They're reliable, they're fun. These are just great cars. These deserve the um, price hike that they're getting. Um, GS300, GS400 is better. I don't care. What the hell is a Vertex? Oh, it's a Japanese thing. Okay. That makes sense. See, that's what's confusing about putting Lexus in, like, Infinity. I don't give a shit. But, like, putting Lexus in American, the American um, part of this is just weird and stupid. Not confusing. Like, I, I know the difference, but it's just... Nike makes a car. See, I should have looked at the cars that I own. What the fuck is this? Nike won 2022. Is this what they thought cars would look like in 2022? Because they're wrong. Instead, we just had um, a pandemic that made cars um, super expensive and almost unavailable to buy. So, even the used ones. So, close, but also no. Oh, God. Which, also, thank God, because that thing looked hideous. Oh, great. I like Motegi. All right, what should I go to next? Spain. Um, all that's going to be is like Seat, more than likely, which I don't really care about. Let's go to the UK, and then we'll pop down to France. Yes, Martin, absolutely. I should have looked in what cars this account had on it, because I saw it had 74, but I didn't really look. All right, so we got the DB7, which I would assume this would be the V12, maybe? This is going to be a newer one, so it's going to be a V12 DB7, but we also have... The DB9. But better than the DB9 is the Vanquish. And I love the Vanquish. So we're going to go with the Vanquish. Even though it's going to be heavier than the DB9. I think. I think these are heavier than the DB9s. And it's more expensive. But. Um, oh, that red is fantastic. I love that. Uh, we're going to go with the Vanquish. We're going to go with the Vanquish. Realistically, I could buy more than one. But I don't really like the DB9. I love the DBS. I don't care for the DB9. DB7. I might buy the DB7. I like the DB7s. I really like the older DB7s with the supercharged Jaguar six cylinders, even though those are like dumpster fires. <clears throat> Alright, Jaguar. Speaking of Jaguar, let's see what we got here. New. We have the S Type R. Yes. Yes. The supercharged V8. Oh man, there's so many good colors here. That's a nice color. I like that. Almost kind of reminds me of uh, what's Millennium Jade or whatever that Skyline color is. I like that. It's on the, the R34 Nier. I like that. I'm buying that one. That's a nice color. I never see any of these. And maybe that's because they all like blew up because you know that's what Jaguars do. But I used to really like these S-Type R's. And you can get the normal S-Types in a manual if you just got like the base engine. Because I, if I'm, if I remember correctly, they're basically just a Lincoln uh, LS, which you could also get in a manual if you got the base model. Very, both very rare. And I could be wrong, but I think they both had like the 3.9 V8, and then like some garbage little six cylinder that was made, both made by like Jaguar or Ford or something. I don't remember. Yo, oh man, this thing was always so ugly to me. I hate that thing. <laughs> I got excited because it was so, because I haven't seen this in so long. I remember what it used to be and that I used to see it. 
oh man, that thing is so ugly. The spoiler's like hanging off the back and it's got wheel covers. I guess aerodynamics, but... Oh, right, I had this book about TWR because they also did a lot of Volvo stuff and this thing was in that book I had. That's why. Right. This thing was so ugly. I hate this car. <laughs> I got excited because it's it's been so long since I've seen it and it's so ugly. Okay. Mini Cooper, it's gonna be the S. Oh, the Mini One? That's gotta be some like UK only like thing. What the hell engine is in this? I'm not buying this. I don't wanna buy it, I just wanna know about it. 1.6, 88 horsepower. Yikes, yeah, we never got that. Thank God. We got this, but we never got the Mini 1, 1. 1.6 liters. Yeah, we got this. We got the Mini Cooper S, which is a supercharged, probably like the one, probably like 1. 1.8. I'll buy one of these. These sound really, oh, I love the electric blue. Yeah, uh, what is it? No, it's a 1.6 as well. Oh, I thought it was 1.8. I don't know why. It still only has 160 horsepower. It sounds really good. Superchargers, if you like, do a pulley and an exhaust and all that, and intake. They sound great. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use one of these for something, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll figure something out. There we go. Awesome. Uh, Lister. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. It's gonna be what's Lister Storm or something? Is that what it's called? Oh, it's the race car version of it. That looks like something from like an old N sixty four racing game, or like you know the first Burnout or something like the car you get at the for beating the first Burnout. I I, I you know it's not awful, but it's definitely not great. Land Rover. Oh, it's the Range Stormer? Wow. That's awesome. Holy shit. That is awesome. I... Oh, man. I want that so bad. That is crazy. That's... What a crazy car to put in this game. Because, like... What are you ever going to do with that in a racing game? That's insane. That's bonkers. Uh, AC Cobra. Also, just it's just the British version of the Shelby Cobra. You want like the same like absolute bad shit experience, but on the right hand, it's the right hand drive. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, you have more color options. I should have just waited. Oh man. Um. Let's see. Oh wait, mushroom. Oh, that's a nice color. It's a dirty brown. That's nice. I like that. Honestly, you should probably get red so when you kill yourself in this car because it's an absolute um, fucking menace, uh, they can't tell where your blood is. Because these things are insane. Marcos. It's like Marcos Mantis or something, right? Mini map? Where am I thinking Marcos Mantis? Why is that a thing? Is that a thing? I don't know. TVR. TVR. TVR Tamora. TVR T350C. TVR Tuscan Speed 6. TVR Speed 12. Yeah. These cars. These cars are also like crazy cars. I never knew this one existed though. I've heard of all of these except for this one. I mean, they all kind of look the same. I didn't know they made a convertible, to be honest. Looks, looks insane, like they all do. I'm, I think TVR should come back. I think there's a big market for um, people who want cars that will kill them. Now that the Viper no longer exists, I think the that there's that there's like that hole in the car market for um, people who want cars where like every time they drive it, it might kill them. So, yeah. Um, I definitely want to buy a TBR. I don't want the Speed 6. T350C might be the right one, I'm thinking. I like all these like chameleon colors. 
I've always liked the million colors I had. This is like the classic. When I think of TBR, I think about this million colors. It's just, it's just, it's just what I think. It's what I think of. I also think of Silver for some reason. There was like that Looney Tunes movie that came out like 20 years ago that they had a TVR in Las Vegas or something for some reason, even though they never sold them in America. And it was silver. So I think of silver also sometimes too. We got Lotus. We got all the Elises. Yes, Spirit. A Spirit. A Spirit. Oh, wow. That's an interesting one. I, the 350 actually looks kind of cool. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that for something. I'll figure something out. I'll figure out one of these races to use it for. Yeah, get in it. Do something. Be useful. Um, classic. It's going to be like the S old Esperit. Yeah. And then the Europa, but I can't buy it. I like this one because it looks stupid and I can relate. Damn. The Lotus Motor Sport. Elise. Back when the Elise was the sizes of the Exige and then everything got better, bigger, so then they had to be like, all right, we have to come up with a smaller car again, and then they come out with the Exige. Janetta. I'm not going to guess what cars are anymore because I don't want to look stupid again. Janetta G4 looks like a blister. I don't like it. Never heard of it. I don't like it. Bentley. I like, see, I, that's what I like about Gran Turismo is because I'm, 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 Finding out about cars that I've never heard of before. Bentley Speed 8. That thing fucks so hard. I want, okay, I want, I want it. Also, there's like, it's almost like there's too many cars in this game. Almost. <laughs> almost. Jensen Healy. Please be the Interceptor. Please be the Interceptor. I mean, I don't... Do they make any of the car? Oh, I can't buy it. Never mind. Caterham. Anyway, I wonder what that's going to be. Yeah, it's like the one car Caterham's ever made. And it has one seat. So it's like the lightweight version of the one car they've ever made. Because they make more than one version. Yeah, I'll buy it. It's in white. Uh, uh, there's no white. I want it in white. I'll get platinum silver. It's close enough. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Are we done with UK now? There's too many cars in UK. I didn't know UK made this many cars. I thought they just made like tractors and um, uh, soccer, football, whatever. Triumph, Spitfire. Uh, I don't want it. <laughs> Okay. Great. Didn't ask. All right. Netherlands, Belgium. I'm going to go up to Sweden because Volvo. Yes, Volvo. It's going to be like the S60. I'll take it. And the one color, the, the super rare color that, um, didn't they purchase it? Super rare color that like nobody ever gets and when, like the couple times I've seen it has made me freak out because it's super cool yay okay all right let's go to well while we're okay um 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 okay we're we'll going to france let's just get france out of the way uh all right france new cars let's see Ugh. looks like a worse hyundai accent from like the late 90s I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that. 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 That's like car, but worse. Um, that's like a newer version of car, but worse. That's exactly what that is, actually. But exclusive. God. Okay. Okay. Classic. It's gonna be the. Uh, what is it? The, yeah, the two CV. I couldn't remember what it was called. Classic blister. Um. Peugeot. I like Peugeot a little bit more than Citroen. I think they've made a couple good things. Like the 106 Rally. That's a cool little hot hatch. I'll take that. I like that. Gris alum aluminum. Gris aluminum. That means aluminum gray. 
Uh, Har Harley Blue Francis. I'll take it. I like that. Also, they have the what? See this that shit I'm talking about? They got like two versions of the same thing. And honestly, I can't, there's like, there's only two. So that's okay here. But when it comes to the Miata, there's, there's gonna be too many. There's gonna be too many. I remember in the in the PSP version there was too many. I can only imagine what it is in here if there's 721 cars. And what the fuck is this? <laughs> Why does the top there's like a roof bar, but it's on the trunk or on the on the cover for the roof. That looks weird. That looks weird. It looks like a pop blister. Okay. Um classics. Yeah, that makes sense. And then it's just the better version. And then it's just the better version. Uh, that's actually kind of I'm that's uh, that's actually kind of a surprise. I wasn't expecting their 905. Um, I'm actually gonna buy that. That's actually kind of cool. Um, did not expect that. I expected like hot hatches and garbage and you know the rally cars. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, okay. Great. Alpine. It's gonna be the like A110. Yeah, and oh, A310. Okay, can't buy either of them. Okay. Um, what is this? Corn? Wheat? Or wheat? What is this? What is this? Hamel? Hamel Berlinet. Never heard of you. What? Uh, what? Never heard of it. 164 horsepower. I was about to say, it looks kind of nice, and then it only has 164 horsepower. How much does it weigh? How much do you weigh? Maybe it's, maybe it's a power to weight that's only 950 kilos. Okay. 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 You know what? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued enough to actually buy that. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but also doesn't have a lot of weight. It might actually be kind of good. It could actually be kind of good. So, okay. Uh, what is Pescaro Pescarolo Sport? What is that? Oh, race cars? Okay. It's a Peugeot. Just say, just put it in Peugeot then. Give them some credit. Oh, they make them for other companies too. Okay, Judd. Okay, no, they make. Okay, that makes sense. The PlayStation, whatever. Um, yeah, those are fine. That's fine. Um, all right, and then Renault. I want the Renault 5, the Renault 5 Turbo, and the Aventime, if they have it. They have it. Oh, I love the Aventime. What a goofy car. I love it. Uh, it's me in, wait, what is that? They call it Noir Nocturne. So, uh, Black Knight? Knight Black? It's purple. Or Dark Knight? I'm trying to figure out, like, Nocturnal is, like, Night and the nocturne is night and then noir is black, but that's purple, right? I guess I just don't understand what the translation would be. But like, that's purple. Am I fucking blind or stupid? That's purple. Like, what is wrong with companies saying purple? If your car is purple, just fucking say purple. I don't want the Renault Clio V6. I want to, I can't buy the five turbo. Like, I, I, that's fine if you want, like, to have me win that one. But just let me buy the normal five turbo. I actually like the five turbo. That's, it's, it's purple. Like, look, what the, like, that little square where it shows me what color it is, is, that's purple. Jeep had that same thing where they came out with a color called Jet Set Blue. And it was fucking purple. It's, it just say your car is purple. Don't be a bitch about it. Um, okay, we're going to go to Germany. I don't want to, I don't really care too much about Belgium. Oh, no, we're going to do Belgium. We're going to do Belgium. But like the Netherlands, Korea. They're going to have like Hyundai, Australia's going to have Holden. I don't care about all those little places. They're going to have like one car. Except for Sweden. That's because I like Volvo. All right. Audi. Howdy, howdy, howdy. All right. 
All right, new cars. Um, the A2 1.4. I did not expect that. What? A, that's a that's an odd one. Um, I, I don't hate it. We never had those in the U.S., but I've seen them many times online. I don't hate them. Uh, the grills are always kind of weird. How that's just how you check things. You don't actually have too much access to the engine. I don't hate it. Twenty two thousand dollars though for this little thing. In like two thousand two, after inflation, it's like like a million dollars. What? That's I would never pay that for a seventy three horsepower little compact thing. I don't care. It's just a, it's just a goofier, shittier, more uh, Volkswagen with an Audi badge. That's awful. Holy shit. However, this isn't real, so I can I can buy it in the game and then find out exactly how bad it is, at least as as much as I can, um, in in uh, in a video game because you know this isn't real life. Ugh, this is three, the TT. I like the TTs. But I don't need it. A3, whatever. 3.2 TT. Interesting. But I don't think you could have get the 3.2. I think you can only get the manual TT in like the smaller engine, if I remember correctly. I don't remember exactly. S4, RS4. Ooh, did I have the... Oh, yeah, of course they do. I There's like the cars at the top. Right, okay. Pike's Peak, Quattro, and the Nouveau Lari Quattro. These are concepts. Yeah. Interesting. I vaguely remember these concepts in a magazine when I was younger. It was like Car Driver Road and Track. So this is what the Q7, this turned into the Q7, this turned into the S5, I guess? Now I see this is the R8, but like the R8 is the only one here that actually ended up, or, or the Le Mans, sorry, is the only one here that actually ended up looking like what it was meant to look like. The, like the exhaust, different. The front end, ever so slightly changed and the wheels obviously not center lock but and i think the mirror's a little different but other than that the r8 ended up being pretty much exactly like the le mans quattro concept but this if this is what then turned into the s5 which is the closest thing i can think that audi ever made that looks sort of like this not even close but this looks way fucking better almost looks like a more like like more luxurious grand tour, almost like an a like a two door A8, which I really love the A8. But wow, I would have definitely considered buying one of these used after two engine replacements and three accidents on the Carfax. Like this is fantastic. This looks great. Yes, five. Eh. But like this is, and I only imagine what like a like a convertible version of this would look like, or like the S or R S version of this would have looked like. Really, like this, this would have been an absolute knockout in production form. This would have done, I mean, the S sold the A or the A5, not just the S5, but the A5 sold fine, but like I, this would have sold way better. Or if they even sold the S5 and then like sold like a, or the A5, but then like sold a bigger two, like a bigger two door, like grand luxury coupe type thing. I like, because they don't have one, do they? This, I think this looks really great. I can't buy this in, in the game though. Um, so I'll have to win it, but wow, this looks really great. And this, I mean, this kind of looks like the Q7, but this just, I mean, this just looks better. This looks, I mean, this, this kind of looks better. I don't like the Q7 though, so. Do they even still make the Q7 or they just replace it with the Q8 and then like a bunch of other SUVs? I don't know. There's, every company has too many fucking SUVs, so who really gives a shit? Okay, and then we have the uh, Red Bull A4. It says PlayStation on it. I don't care about Red Bull. And then TT, same thing. ABT, Team ABT, TTR, Red Bull, PlayStation 2, Vodafone. We don't have fucking, I don't know, Law Pumped. Wow, these sponsors, eh? That's crazy, crazy sponsors. That's a cool race car though, but I don't care about Red Bull. Um, and classic, classic Audis. Got the Quattro 8 from 82. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I gotta give this thing a try. Absolutely, I'm surprised this is something that you buy. This definitely looks like, this is back when they were called Auto Union. Yeah, that's, wow. How do you even get in that thing? How do you get in that thing? Very carefully. 
very carefully. Well, it's probably super low to the ground. I guess you can just step, like, over and in. You can't be too tall, though. Otherwise, it's like... How do you, I mean, maybe the controls are very, like, far down. I don't know. I don't know how to judge how big that thing is. Because it, it's V16, so it's, like, but it's also just very long, right? I don't, I need to look up pictures of that on my own time and just look more into that thing. That's, yeah, what a wild, interesting vehicle that is. <laughs> wow. And then the R8 race car. Is this, is this the TDI? This is not the TDI one, is it? Which also wasn't diesel, apparently. Um, but I do want this. Ooh, we get there's two. Do I want the number one or the number two? I've seen more pictures of this one than this one, which makes me want this one more. I read something about the Audi race cars that are called like the TDIs that they're not like diesel. Like a lot of people think they're diesel. Apparently they're not diesel or something, which news to me, but I don't care. I always thought they were diesel and I read them like, huh, they're not diesel. Who knew? Probably a lot of people. I'm just the idiot. But when I hear, when I see Audi or Volkswagen and TDI, I think diesel. So E55 AMG, those, those are 2002. I thought those came out in 2003. I thought those were like the newer E-Class. And like this, I mean, this is an E-Class, but like it was this body style that was O2. Whatever. Um, SL55, SL600, SL65, there we go. That's what I want. I want the, the big one. Let's see, Obsidian Schwartz, so it's Obsidian Black. And draw, oh my god, why does everything have to be, like, so, so menacingly German sounding? Top, topaz blau, so, b blue topaz. I'm getting blue with the red interior. That's, that's combination. I like that. SLR McLaren with the rare wheels that like nobody has on their SLR in real life. And I didn't know these came out in 03. I thought these were like 04 or 05. And I don't, do those wheels even exist on any like actual production SLR? I've never seen those particular wheels exist on any actual production SLR. I've seen it in pictures, like press pictures, but I've never seen them any real production SLR. That's interesting. Uh, it's okay, race car the D with the D2 uh, livery, which is quite a quite a famous livery on Mercedes race cars. That's cool. Okay, classics. You have the CLK GTR. What what? I've seen I, I've seen that in videos. It's just knowing it is actually a thing. I don't know why I thought it was like a mod or something. That's interesting. <laughs> if you're on a SL coupe, 190. E. Can you you there's no way in hell you get a 190 e for 67 thousand in real life. That's is that the, that's no way that's their going rate. Okay, SL CLK GTR race car, sober uh, C9 race car. I love those. All the good things you have to win. I gotta do, I have a lot of events I gotta do. All right, Volkswagen. Will there actually be anything I buy in Volkswagen? I don't like Volkswagen. Maybe I'll buy a Beetle. New Beetle. GTI. The Lupo GTI. Um, Polo GTI. All the cool GTI cars that we didn't get here because we don't get a lot of these cool little things. I like the, the Polo GTI. The Lupo GTI I could do without, but I like the Polo GTI. Um, I bet this thing, this thing is like small and nimble, probably pretty light and still has 123 horsepower, the same as this, probably it's the same engine. I bet this thing, I bet this thing fucks. Like, honestly, we don't get the cool Volkswagens here. We get the Golf. It's like the smallest thing you get here in the States. I bet the Polo GTI and the Lupo GTI fuck. I, I, but like, I want four doors cause like, I have friends and a kid and... <laughs> I, I really like this Polo GTI. Oh, it looks so good in silver. All right. 
That's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna buy anything. Oh yeah, the new beetle! They have the new beetle! Okay, I like the new beetle. But I see something else that I really love. Oh. The new beetle RSI. I love these so much. These are so cool. Okay. Oh, I can't- that W12 Nardo. Oh, I love this car. This thing would have been so cool if they put it into production. Like, I don't think they would have sold that many because, like, who's going to buy a supercar made by Volkswagen? At least that has a Volkswagen badge on it, but, like, it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay. The Lupo Cup Car. That's cool. The Lupo GTI Cup Car. And the new Beetle Cup Car. Okay, I like the Lupo... Okay, I'm buying a Lupo Cup Car. I'm buying a Lupo GTI Cup Car. Because I didn't want to know Lupo GTI, but I'm going to buy the cup car. I'm going to use it for, I'm going to use it. There's probably like a Lupo race manufacturer cup something. I don't know. I haven't actually looked at the, the races yet because I was just like, I'm going to buy a bunch of cars and then do races. Okay. Carmen Ghia and the old Golf GTI. I don't care about any of those. Great. All right. BMW. I want the M3 GTR. You know what I'm here for. You know what I'm here for. 120i, don't care. 120d! Okay. Diesel. I I might come back and cop a diesel 120. That's fun. Um, M3, don't care. M3 CSL. It's close. Oh my god, I can't buy it. Are you kidding me? <sighs> M5. At least it's like the good M5. Or... I'm not going to say it's a good M5, it's the fun M5 with the V10. They're definitely not good, that's the wrong word. I can't buy the race car version either. And why is... I guess they didn't want to make its own thing, because like, why would they? But like, it's, just, it's not a BMW, it's just a BMW powered car. Oh yeah, it's any of the powered by BMW and BMW Motorsport all over the... This is disheartening. This is disheartening. Do these really only have 371 horsepower? The, the, the M3 GTR Strassian version? Even though they have a 4 liter V8? I mean, I guess, I guess they kind of detune them. But, damn, these are so cool. I love the I love the M3 GTR street versions. Whatever, I'm still buying the diesel 120 because I want to do, I want to do a race with a diesel. Let's get it in like a, like a gold or something. Is this a diesel in the game? I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look more into it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, D46 is just... A, I've, said, I've said this. D46 is just a good car. Doesn't matter which one you get. Doesn't matter if you get, like, an automatic four-wheel drive wagon. It's going to be one of the best driving cars. Oh, they have the V12 element. It's going to be, like, a good driving car. Okay, the, the, uh, automatic four-wheel drive wagon it's gonna be like one of the best driving experiences ever but then like you get an m3 a manual m3 it's gonna be like the best car but then if like somehow you are like rich or lucky enough to come across an m3 gtr you're gonna have just the best driving car ever ever and this is not just like oh i love need for speed most wanted and it's the cover car it's just like the best the best driving car ever, ever. I can only imagine is I, I just anyway. Opel Corsa Comfort garbage. Uh, Opel Speedster. I do they have the turbo. They do. I'm gonna get the turbo. I do love these. I love these, especially in orange or yellow. We're gonna do the orange. Both got the same chassis as Lotus Elise's, but they just look cooler. And these are very close to coming to the U.S. And then GM was just like, nah, never mind. We'll just keep, let's just make the garbage port, uh, Pontiac Solstice instead. Okay. Um, Opel Calibra Touring Car. That's interesting. That's kind of neat. I like that. It's four-wheel drive? Oh, I think it's kind of neat. And then we got Roof. 
there's gonna be some really, really ragged stuff in here. Got the uh, 3400S. I don't actually know. I didn't know they made a Boxster thing. And the RGT. Interesting. Okay, RGT I'd known about. Okay, the BTR. Cool. Predecessor to the BTS. Just kidding. Uh, CTR, Yellowbird. And the CTR, two. Can't buy the Yellowbird, of course. Of course you can't buy the Yellowbird. And the CTR, two. I'm gonna buy this one. <gasps> I'm gonna get Stone Red. Yes. Um, yeah, why not? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Okay. And do I want the CTR to... I, I get... It doesn't that... It's like these generations... I, just, I mean, they kind of look okay. I don't think... I don't think that quite fits. I think silver is kind of good on this one. Okay. Great, awesome. All right, did I do Italy? No, I didn't. There's nothing good here. Oh no, it's Brigani. Alpha. Uh, just a lot of good, I mean, that's actually a really beautiful car. Alpha makes a beautiful car. Even their hatchbacks just look like just really nice those wheels it's like the phone dial style wheels that, that looks great oh the spider why can't the spider have these wheels it look better i'm gonna go with this one the, the silver with the black get about it all right oh, that looks so good okay i guess i guess you just have to get an alpha right like they said in, in Top Gear, you're not like, you know, you're not a car enthusiast unless you own an Alpha or something, right? I don't know if that counts virtually, but like, whatever. I own an Alpha. That's Auto Bianchi, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, first it looked like Adidas, and then like, wait, no, that's not. Right. Classics. There's only one car here. Oh. Okay. It's a little Fiat. Because Audiancio is just like a Barth. Audiancio and Barth are the same thing. Who cares? Who knows? Uh, Fiat. Barchetta. Oh, okay. Punto of Barth. Okay. Fiat Coupe Turbo. Is that the five cylinder one? I like. I, I kind of like that. I don't know. 48,000? Fuck that. I know. Chisetta. Oh, the V16T. I can't buy it. <laughs> okay, that I mean that makes sense. It's kind of like a that's a crazy car. Pagani. They're gonna have the Zonda. They're gonna have three Zondas. What's the difference? Zonda C12, C12 S, and the C12 S 7.3. I guess it makes sense because in O2 they changed the engine, so I guess this one's gonna have a, a seven liter. 6.8 7 liter what's this one i don't know and then what's this one gonna have i'm curious what are they all gonna have this one's gonna have okay this one's gonna have a six liter v12 and yes cancel and then this one's gonna have a seven liter yeah okay and then the 7.3. Okay. Well, 7.3 is obviously the answer, but I'll come back to that. Because they're all the fucking same. And yeah. Uh, launch, yeah. You know what's going to be. It's going to be the Stratus and the Delta, all the different Deltas. Okay. France. We went there. Belgium. Germany. We went there. We went there. We went there. Um, I guess all that's left, Korea is just going to have. Okay, so let's do the used car showrooms, and then we'll end with we'll end with Japan. Used car lineup has been updated. Of course it has. Okay, 
Um, Honda CRX SIR, the yellow uh, 90 Honda NSX, Fiat Panda Super. What the hell is a, pan a Super Panda? The fuck is that? It doesn't look very super, it just looks like a normal Panda. Uh, 1990 Infinity G20. I do like the Infinity G20s. I really want one in real life, because they're just cool little front wheel drive cars with SR20s. Cool little tuners, but they've all rusted away. I like it. I don't like black though. I'd rather wait for like a different color. And I don't think you can paint. Can you paint cars in Gran Turismo 4? Oh, whatever. I can always sell it. Or just buy another one. I want some money. Yes, sure, why not? I do like the Infinity G20s. Great. Let's keep going. Let's see, we got. Uh, Toyota Supra, it's a 1990, it's a twin turbo, and it's red. Let's, let's take a look. Hmm. Nah. We got Lexus, GS300. Nah. I don't like the way those look. We got Suzuki Beat. We got the Toyota Celica GT4 RC. It's ST185. That's nice. I like those. I miss my... Uh, old stick. I had a 93. It's a car I learned to drive stick on. Bought it for $500. And I didn't know how to drive stick when I bought it. And then I drove it home like, you know, seven miles. By the time I got home, I knew how to drive stick. And I missed that car. Ah, it's been updated again. 91 Acura NSX. It's the Wolf's car from Pulp Fiction. You have to buy it. 28 grand. You would never find an NSX this clean for 28 grand. I doubt. I doubt it. I mean, maybe, but I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but like, I doubt it. Okay, got a 91 Skyline GTR. Eh. Got an RX-7. Black Sylvia Q's. An, an OG Lancer. The first Lancer, and it's in bright red. I th did we have these Lancers? I, I, you know, if we had the the first Lancer from like the early '90s in the U.S., we definitely didn't have the Evo. The Evo didn't come here until like '03. But if we had the like original Lancer in just normal form, they're all in junkyards by now, because these rust so badly. I'm buying this. I'm buying this there we go. There's I don't like. All the Lancers, I like the the like first few couple, like the first two or three Lancers, and then I like the Lancer Five or the Evo Five, and like that's about it. I like, and then I like the Evo RSs, like the base model Evos, and that's about it. Oh, the Toyota Serra, those are the ones with like the the Goldwing doors, right? Yes. Oh, that's great. Those are fun. Yeah, I'll buy that. Sure. Not that the doors really matter in any way except for just, you know, um, looking at it in, like, right now, but sure. Th Mazda 323F. 323 sounds familiar, but the F doesn't sound familiar at all. What is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? The back part kind of lo looks like a BMW Z3 Coupe. Almost, but yeah, we definitely didn't get that in the states, at least not that I know of. I, Mazda 323 sounds familiar, but that the F is the part that's really fucking me and this car up. It doesn't look bad um, necessarily, but it definitely is. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's that's gonna be a hard pass for me. Here's one. Here's one Miata, and here's another Miata, and I'm sure we passed a couple other Miatas. Maybe not. I don't know. No, we haven't. We haven't in this dealer yet. But there's a bunch of Miatas. There's, there's like already two different types of Miatas right there. FTO. Two different FTOs. This one's got less horsepower. I wonder if this is like a base model. GR. That sounds like it could be base model. It has hubcaps. It's a base model and no spoiler. It's a base model. Oh, 
wow. It's like, it's below the eclipse. And it's a coupe, not like a hatchback like the eclipse was. We never got it here. Um, I think a couple people have imported them here. I don't know why. Uh, I don't hate them, but it just, it's kind of a confusing car. Um, yeah, those are definitely, they look definitely like hubcaps. I'm gonna buy it, because it's so base model. Maybe I can take it to like the tuner shop and kind of do some stuff to it. I don't know. But I, you know, I love a good, I love a good weird quirky base model. We got Evo 2. You got a, bu oh yeah, and a bunch of different WRXs. Eclipse GT. We got the, I mean, that's not a base model. 3000 GT, it's got four wheel drive. Oh, well, Japan, it's a Japanese version of the base model. Evo 3, Honda Integra Type R. What's the Honda Integra Type R doing? Let's see, I do like a good Type R. Yeah, it's just championship white. Yeah, imagine being able to get a Type R anything for seven grand, eight grand, sorry. Um, VR4, is this a 95 so that would still have the pop-ups, right? No, it wouldn't, oh wow, okay. I don't know anything about anything. And then an Evo 3 in yellow. I am a sucker for a yellow Evo with white wheels. I'd buy it. I'll buy that. Sure. Let's go. Dandelion yellow. These used car dealers are fun. Here's another Miata and, a di and another different Miata. There's too many Miata. Why do you need, like, okay, I, I, maybe it's just hype for people who are, like, Miata enthusiasts to just be like, oh my god, there's, like, there's the Miata I like. But also, like, <laughs> why? Uh, why are there, like, 3,500 different Miatas in this game? Okay, um, Evo 4. What's Evo 4 doing? Yeah, okay. It's just... That's, those are the I don't like those. Okay. Um, got a Camaro. That's that's out of place. One of these things is not like the others. Legacy wagon. I do love a good wagon. GTB. Yeah. Okay. It's got a little Bilstein symbol in the back. Is that what the B stands for? I don't actually know. Camaro Z28 Coupe. Are any of these uh, WRXs, are any of these wagons, are they all sedans? I honestly have no idea. Mirage, what is a Mirage Cyborg? ZR? It sounds cool. Weird, either Australian or Japanese. You got some Daihatsu Moves, an MR2 GTS. Only 23,000 miles, wow. How can you say no? Skyline GTR. Lexus SC300, um, cooler feels on SR SC400, I uh, got another uh, VR4, I do love the 3000 GTs, um, we got a Lenum, Le Lenum, I never knew how to pronounce that, <clears throat> these would have done okay here if they sold them in the 90s when wagons were a thing. Uh, were still like a popular thing. I think it would have done okay, especially against like the when Mitsubishi was still doing okay and wagons were kind of becoming popular, especially selling them against like you know the legacies, the outbacks, and stuff. I think they would have done okay. Um, sport wagons, a nice sport wagon, yeah. And the Stasia, why didn't Nissan sell the Stasia here? Holy shit. Um, yeah, um, obviously, I think the outback would have outsold them both, and Mitsubishi still would have struggled. But I think the, the Langdon and the Stagey would have done okay. They would have done okay. I'm gonna buy this. I think the VR4 with the, the VR door thing is, is okay with me. Okay, let's see. Great. BMW M Coupe. We have a S490, a 98 S4. Oh, this is interesting. A used SL600 R129. So the the nicer blocky ones. Big, uh, the big kind of big smooth-ish kind of wheels. Interesting kind of whitish pearl color. It's 28,000 miles, still $105,000. That checks out. 
that that kind of checks out. Um, I still kind of want to buy it though. Use Mercedes. I'm I'm never gonna do an oil change on it. I'm gonna drive it really hard, and then and, and that's just gonna be how I'm gonna treat it for another 20 years, and then I'm going to try to sell it for exactly what I bought it for, like every other Mercedes, um, like every other um, big Mercedes owner, big Benz owner. Yeah. Oh, it's been updated. Wonderful. A Grand Sport. Oh yes. They got the fender flares. They're pretty much JDM. Yeah, why not? No, 3000 GT. All right, are these uh, wagons? No, that's another sedan. I would buy a WRX if it was a wagon. Is this a wagon? Is there a way to tell if there's a wagon without me clicking on it and wasting my time? No? That's okay. Another Miata? Um, a Supra? I used Alpha. That's a, that's a one five. That's a sedan, right? Yeah. Kind of a cool one. It has like those handles in the, in the trim, so it looks like a coupe, but it's not a coupe. Interesting. So they could be T4. I used Elise. Interesting. 3000 GT, another Acura, a yellow M Coupe, Stasia, two Stasias, one's an Autech version. Wow. Storia, Sprinter, Wagon, RRR. Okay, I gotta see what a Wagon RRR is. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Uh, I just, I don't know. A 99 Celica SSII. I do like I do like all Celicas. There's not a Celica I don't like. I'm not gonna buy it, but I do I do still like it. Uh, Lancer Evo Six RS. I do like the RS. I don't like that bike. I do like the RS because it's so like basic and bare. Uh. And nowadays, if you find an RS that hasn't been like wrecked or converted like for full race use and it's still like streetable, it's so rare, you know? Ugh. Okay, so we got some, you got two GTRs. These are R34s for under 30. One's under 25. Yeah, that's realistic. Um, this is a different time. Different time. This is 04. So those are just basically used cars. Here's another Miata. Um... A Vitz Euro Edition, Ecker CL, Evo 7. I do like Evo 7s. Oof. Oh, it's Black Bell. But I guess it's like a very boring color on a car, so you can't really like tell the lines of the, of like the more intricate lines of a car, you know, like the detail of a car. You can see like the basic lines of the car, but you can't tell like the more detailed lines of a car. I like that one though. I'm gonna buy that one. <laughs> I like Evo 7s. Oh, is there... I'm asking myself this. Who am I asking? I want to know if there's the Evo 7 RS. That's what I want. Okay, so we've gone through the used... Fuck off. We've gone through the Evo... Or we've gone through the used car showrooms. Now the historic showroom. And then Japan. And then we're... And then, we're, then, I'm, then I'm good with my shopping. I think I've spent... I don't remember how much money was here. Definitely wasn't like all the way nine 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 whatever, but I think that's been probably like twenty some million. Okay, we got Bluebird, uh, old Celica. That's nice. I like that. The Fender mirrors. Oh, the oh, that's so cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. That's just a used car. <laughs> that's just a used Japanese car. In 2004, this still wasn't eligible for import. Stupid 25-year rule. It's so stupid. Got a city turbo. Does it come with the... Um, oh my god, what the hell is that bike called? Oh my god. What's that stupid bike called? Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. What that silly bike is called. Moto Compo, right? I don't remember. I'm buying this. Is that what that's called? It might not be what it's called. 
I'm hoping that's what it's called. Um, okay. What is a Honda today? I don't know. What's that? It's the 84 Skyline. Is that the blocky ones? Oh, I don't like the color, though. I would buy that. That's like red or something. What is a Honda today? Better than a Honda yesterday. That's, um... That looks wrong. I don't know why. The proportions are weird. It looks longer than it needs to be. 86 Toyota MR2. Yes. Yes! Absolutely. 100% buying that. That's awesome. The green and the, like, tan two-tone, That's that fucks really hard. I like that a lot. B1, the Volvo. Oh, the 240 Estate! Yes! Oh, man. That's probably the heaviest thing I've bought so far. Definitely the heaviest thing I bought so far. I'm trying to think if I bought like any trucks or like you know anything like that. And then I was like, wait, it doesn't matter because it's still heavier. Canopy. Wait, is this the thing with the the thing that like clips off? Yeah. Oh, we did. We got these here. The Pulsar. And you take the back part off and just put on like. A, a coupe thing or you can like leave it off and for some reason if you want and just use it as kind of a pickup which i saw one person do on like a picture on twitter one time real bonkers shit got the galant vr4 nissan pow great awesome and another miata in case you didn't get one yet what is a mitsubishi manika dungeon zz that sounds cool it's not it's just an old K car, which some K cars are cool. This one's like, not. That's unfortunate. Well, look at the tri oh my god, the triple exhaust, the triple tiny exhaust that are like half an inch. Wait, 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 go, go around, go around, go around. Oh my god, that triple exhaust. Okay, I'm buying it. Holy shit. Yeah, sure. Why not? In Sophia White. It just sounds like somebody's name. It's not even a color, it just sounds like a name. Okay. Now, for I'm sure most people's favorite, Japan. Daihatsu, there's not gonna be anything good here. All right, why am I, why am I clicking on that like I wanna buy it? The detachable top, yeah, I don't, why am I here? I don't wanna do anything. What, did, what could possibly be, it's going to be the, the, the Hatsu, yeah, the, the old, but it's three wheels. Okay, that could be kind of fun. That could be kind of fun. Mazda. I see the Mazda, I saw the Mazda 6 up in the top picture. Another Miata. Another Miata. A protege. Mazda 6 five door. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Out of all the Mazda 6s, they chose the five door. Would have preferred the wagon. But at least it's not the sedan. They went with the five door. That's a fun one. Kind of. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God, why did, the, why did there be so many RX-8s, though? RX-7. That's uh, interesting. Another Mazda 6. Why, okay, but why did they do the concept and the five door? And, the, okay, the Mazda Speed. Okay, great. And they did the Mazda Speed 6, which is actually kind of a cool car. And really great. And this, which turned into the CX-7 a couple of years later, a few years later. And the Mazda 6 Touring car is actually kind of cool. I might come back and buy that. Probably will come back and buy that. I don't know why I just buy it now. It just takes so long to like go through the process of it. Oh, yes. Oh, I can hear my ear. Well, it's not going to actually do anything because it's so, like, you know. It's not that loud, but like, oh, man. I want to hear one of these in, in so in, in real life so bad. And I'm not going to wear any air protection and my eardrums are going to blow out and I just... Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh, yes. I want that to happen. Destroy my eardrums, please. Okay, so we have the new legacy or newer legacies, which gross, whatever. STI, STI, another legacy. Another legacy, another legacy, another legacy. Like, okay. Is there any 
big difference. Okay, so it looks like suspension differences. I mean, it's they all have 276 horsepower, which of course we all know they don't. Um, okay, now we're in race cars. Okay, rally car, other rally car, old rally car, old 22B rally car, and then like the slightly newer rally car prototype. Interesting. Why, why a prototype? Okay, whatever. Can't do anything with it anyway. Classics. Okay. They could have done like, you know, the 22B. I guess, would that really be? No, it's like, I guess that wouldn't really be a classic at this point. It's only a few years old. Um, or they could have done like an older legacy or the Subaru Brat, but instead it's whatever the fuck that thing just was. Acura. Okay, so Acura is Japanese, but Lexus isn't? And even with the left hand drive version of the RSX. Take these are cars that are sold in. And these are concepts, but these are all cars that are just sold in, in fucking America. Like, come on. I don't understand this game and how they put things. Places. Whatever I'm trying to say. Dome Zero? What are you? <laughs> You're kind of cool. What are you, uh... 2.8 liter? I don't know what you are. You're, you're a funny little fellow, huh? Interesting. I like you, though. All right, Honda. Honda Insight. So, hybrid. Is it... <clears throat> no, there's probably, like, the Prius or something. The Element. The element. I'm gonna buy the Element. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I'm gonna buy it. <clears throat> I will use that. The Odyssey and the Civic Type, the EP Civic Type R and the Accord Euro R, and the Japanese Type R and the Accord Coupe EX. I'm assuming that's the V6. Yes, and it's a manual too. You can tell by the red V6. You ever see an Accord of this generation with a red V6 badge? That is a manual. I had a Accord sedan with a V6, and it was a manual, and it had a red V6 logo. And that's when I realized that any Accord of Generation, whether it was coupe or sedan, that had a uh, V6 logo um, that was red, had a uh, manual, which weird, but yeah, that's that's what that is. Um, S2000, is there like any better S2000s? I guess there may probably wasn't at this point. So it's just, you have the 03, and the 04, and like a CR or anything, so it probably came out later, I don't know. Um, and you have the Honda and the Sexus. So why why is Acura not in Japan? I'm not I'm not gonna get over that. I'm gonna be annoyed about that forever. Oh, you have some really cool Honda race cars in here. Oh wow, you have the Gather yeah, Civic, the Mugen NSX, a couple Mugen NSX, the Castro one, the not tight, the Dakota one. That's not that's Dome. Oh Dome, oh Dome Zero. Okay, so Dome just makes race cars. Like, I recognize a lot of these race cars, never really knew who made them. I recognize them from watching, like, race racing, like, old racing and newer racing on um, both, like, classic races. I watch a lot of racing on YouTube, just, like, archive footage, and I recognize a lot of these, never knew who made them. So I guess Dome is just a race car manufacturer, or a race car builder, not manufacturer. But, okay, that makes sense. Cool. All right. I like learning things. Honda Life Step Van. Uh, S500, S600, S800. You know, Honda used to make just really ugly cars. Like, they're, they're little cars. Oh, that thing. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. The old Mugen Civic race car. That's so cool. Okay. That's another one that I'm gonna put towards the top of the work towards list. Wait, did I? Okay, it's a Bishi. Let's go with Bishi. New cars. Colt. Gross. Gross. We got that here, but we got the Outlander, which was an awful car. And I'm sure maybe this isn't any better. 
But we definitely didn't get any turbo version of it, which maybe would have been cool. Does it have like the 4G63? I don't know. Cause that would be, that would, that would fuck pretty hard if it had all wheel drive and a manual with the 4G63. That'd be cool. Oh, gross. Come on, come on. This game came out in 04. How are they pushing the 06 Eclipse? Why were they Mitsubishi pushing that so hard? It's such an awful car. Evo 8, Evo 8 MR, RS, okay, okay. I have another RS, but I might come back and buy that one too, because I do love the RS, the I. I think they, didn't they make like a version of that production? I don't know. CZ3 Tarmac, that's awful. I don't remember what it's called, I know it's like the Miev or something. I know they did, all right, the Pajero, that's cool. That's cool, I like that. Lancer Evolution Super Rally Car. That's cool. That's cool. I'll probably come back when it's when I do rally stuff. Okay. I'm buy that because I like that. And the Mirage. Lancer Cult. That's... Oh, I love that car. I love that. Does it tell you what kind of engine it has? Let's see. Oh, I can't buy it. It's just a 3 liter... So I'm imagining the same engine that was in, that was then put in the 3000 GT? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm imagining, but maybe I'm wrong because that didn't come out until, wait, it says six, does it say the engine on the side? Does it say seven, two? Six, it might say the engine designation on the side. I don't know. It might be the same engine that was then put in the 3000 GT. Which makes sense. Um, okay. And then the Lancer rally car and the old Pajero rally. Okay, the rally truck. And then Evo 4, Evo 6. Or sorry, yeah, Evo 6, not Evo 7. Did they even make an Evo 7 rally car? I don't know. They probably, I'm sure they did. It's just not here in the game. Suzuki, it's gonna be a bunch, it's gonna be a bunch of just awful, awful stuff. Um, that's actually that's actually a really cool little K vehicle. Almost looks kind of kind of bulky off roady actually. Suzuki K works. It's kind of I mean I don't think it's actually meant to be off roady, but maybe I don't know. Looks a little bit bulkier than um, other K cars. That's just an awful thing. What the fuck is that? That's kind of cool actually. That's kind of cool. Um, never heard of it or seen that. Okay, Suzuki Escudo Dirt Trial Car. I've definitely driven that in other rally games. Definitely driven that in other rally games. I've seen that before. Definitely, definitely driven that in other rally games. I'm pretty sure. Tommy Kyra. That's familiar. ZZS and the ZZ. I don't know if that's ZZ2, that'd be ZZ2, okay. Isn't, uh, isn't Tommy Kyber just like a modifier of other cars or had versions of other cars? I guess, I guess they made their own cars at some point. They didn't look too bad. All right, Azuzu. Okay, well, I guess I wasn't expecting like the NPR box truck in here, so I guess it makes sense that they just have their older cars. Um, we got... Although it'd be, it'd be cool to have like the Azuzu Rodeo <laughs> or the Trooper or something. I don't know. Whatever. Some like concept truck. All right, we got the Micra. We got the Cube before it was brought to the US. Oh, but the CVT? Oh, man. Like I'm intrigued. Like this, just drive like just one constant rev. Just drive 5,600 RPM constantly around a racetrack, never shifting, never lifting, never shifting. You don't have to lift because it's only 96 horsepower. You never have to shift because you can't because it's a CVT. So it just makes this one constant, like, this, this one constant revving. No matter what speed you're going. Oh, God, okay. Nissan Primera. It's just a, that's just a dreadful looking car. I don't know why. I just, it just doesn't look great. Is this when Nissan and like Renault started making cars together? Oh one, I don't remember when they started being a thing, but that just looks bad. Um, we have the Japanese Skyline. 
um, after the R34 was done. Actually, this is when the Skyline was still, the R34 was still a thing, 2002, 2001. But this is the sedan, and later what we knew as the G35. That's fun. It's very neat. Almost the same amount of power, at least rated as. Very, very fun. Very sneaky. Um, 350Z Roadster, 350, or, yeah, Roadster, 350Z, um, 350, or Fairlady Z with the wheel option. Uh, the GTR M spec, GTR B spec 2, the GTR B spec 2 Newer. Now, this, this is the color I was talking about, Millennium Jade. That's a beautiful color. I think I'll buy, if I were to get an R34, which I prefer the R33s, personally, if I were to get an R34, it'd be the near Millennium Jade. I like that. I like the color a lot. I think it also happens to be like the most expensive one here so far. Yeah. But let's see, maybe the Millennium Purple. Wait. There's the M spec near. Okay, so the V spec. Oh, yeah, never mind. Oh, I guess, yeah, this one's even more, and it's also Millennium Jade. Is this Millennium Jade? Yeah, Millennium Jade. Yeah. Um. Nope, the special color Midnight Purple 3 is cheaper. And there's V-Spec 2 and 1. And also, I don't know the difference between all the R34s. I'm not a big R34 or GTR or anything enthusiast. I just I just know I, I the R34 is a good car, and the Skyline's a great car, and it's not really a bad one. I just know I like the look of the R33 better, and I really liked Millennium Jade Metallic as a color. So... Uh, 350Z Gran Turismo 4 limited edition. What's limited? What makes it special? Just the fact that it's yellow? It's not really anything else. This looks like a 350Z. GTR Concept. That's cool. I really like the GTR Concept. Um, I drove that a lot in Project Gotham racing when that was in there because I really liked it. So I guess it's cool that it's in here. I can drive it in here too. The Nissan MMR Cup car. I'm sorry, I'm going to be way too busy driving the Lupo Cup, so don't have time for whatever the hell you are. Um, the Sylvia C West, whatever, and the JTG. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, absolutely. Abs absolutely. Yes, every Calsonic car. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Loctite, we got the Pennzoil uh, touring car, we got the Zanavi touring car, and they have the Motul touring uh, 350Z, we got mm, Zanavi touring GTR, we have Nismo Falcon GTR, this is a race car, I don't know what this race is in, this is a touring car, and we have another Pennzoil uh, GTR. Uh, from JTDC. So, I guess they're just from different years. This is 01 and this is 99. So, great. All right, classics. Uh, we got some older Skylines, Bluebird, Sylvia Skylines. Um, yeah, cool. Very old, very cool Skyline. Uh, we got the Hakuska, we got the Kenmiri, we got. Old, old shit. R390, that's cool. I'll come back for that. This video's getting long as heck. We got a Bluebird Rally car, that's cool. 240RS, also cool. Oh my god. The Calsonic fucking... Oh, R32, holy shit. That makes sense. Wait. We got more Calsonic cars. Oh, that's... Oh, my favorite liveries. We got the R89C, and we got the R92CP. All in their Calsonic liveries. Holy fucking shit. That's, oh my god. This one I can just straight up buy. That's, that's great. Okay. I, I, okay. Well, I'm going to be doing a lot of Googling to find out exactly when I need to get all these. Because these are going to be like right up there along with the M3 GTRs in cars that I need to get. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright. We got two more and then we're done. Got Toyota. I see the first one I see is the Prius. <laughs> Prius. Oh, we got the Bits RS. We got the Toyota Volts. The Volts. The Vibe. But the JDM. Okay, so the Pontiac Vibe is the Toyota Matrix. 
but with a Pontiac bo- with a Pontiac body and a Pontiac logo and some like GM stuff inside of it. So what did Toyota do? They took it. They took the Pontiac body, which is just a Toyota car with a Toyota engine, and then they just took off the Pontiac logos and then you just put Toyota badges back on it. I don't understand this car. I don't understand this car. This car doesn't make any sense. Why is he here? Why does it exist even in real life? I don't like, okay, but and that being said, I'm gonna buy it because it's so stupid. It's the stupidest car to ever exist. It's the stupidest car. The dumbest car. Oh man. Them are too, but with the, they made a point of saying it has a six speed sequential manual transmission instead of the normal manual. Which I think was just a, was it a five speed? Or was it also a six speed? I don't remember. I always really like these. But the only ones I could ever find for a decent price had the six speed sequential manual and I didn't want that. So I never, I gave up my search a while ago. And then cars got way more expensive. I got the Corolla Runx Z Aero Tuner. What a weird name. Uh, this thing looks bad. Did Toyota just take all of their like worst and stupidest? Okay, first of all, I like I think the Prius is a great car. It's just a daily commuter vehicle. I have nothing bad to say on the Prius. And this is like a great little hot hatch, you know, runabout little car. We don't have them here, but there's nothing really like objectively bad about them. But this is stupid. This is the worst version of this car. Oh, this is also great. Uh, but then this is like, ugh. This is, ugh. But this, this is like, why is it in a racing game? It's a cool truck, but why? This is, nobody wants a Calvina GT4. It's not even, it's not a good car, good wagon, a good, like, it doesn't look good or anything. This is kind of cool, but it's a concept that they never put into production and they were never going to. It looks cool. Kind of looks like that one thing from Lilo and Stitch, kind of. Both from the back and the front. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Definitely looks like a car. It also looks like a car that could be from Monsters, Inc. Um, yeah. Um, and then a Toyota Motor Triathlon. Like, Toyota just took all of, like, their worst cars and was like, yeah, let's just throw them in here. Most of their worst cars. And dabbled in, like, a couple of their okay cars. What, like, what the fuck is this? What is this? Toyota to Apex. This thing's kind of cool. This thing's kind of cool, actually. I might come back for that thing. Oh, at least they put in a Celica... Uh, touring car because people when people watch JGTC they want the Celica okay we got a bunch of Supra race cars and the, especially the Castrol I the Castrol uh, touring car is a very important one I feel mm, I'll have to think about uh, I don't know which one uh, I, I don't know I like them both okay also, I'm using the Benzo, or, oh my god, the, the Benzo. I was thinking of Mercedes name. The Denzo one sticks out to me, too. I don't know anything about the other ones. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I don't care about uh, any of these. 2000 G, or, two, yeah, 2000 GT is a good one. That's, I, I can't buy that. Can't buy that. Can buy that. Probably buy a 2000 GT. I'm going to buy this one now, though. Yep, yep. I like this one. Great. Oh, wait. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. GT1. Oof. Yes. I'm going to buy that. Okay, but we also got the Minolta race car. And the Toyota 7. Damn. That's... 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 Wow. That's cool, okay. So that's kind of cool. That's really cool. I'm gonna buy this one also as well. That's gonna be the last one to buy. Great. And that's it. Um, oh wait, there's ASL. I don't know what ASL is. What is ASL? Never heard of this company in my life. Never, ever heard of them. Apparently, they were in JTDC. 
I'm sure I've seen them watching like old archive footage um, online, but I've never actually paid attention enough to hear about them. Can't read what, what it, oh yeah, okay. ASL Garaya. The streetcar is 201 horsepower. How much, what does that weigh? I like the name, red, red, blue, black, and silver. Great, they don't make their colors stupid names. 800 kilos, wow. Okay, so maybe it's actually good. It looks kind of stupid, but maybe it's actually good. I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna buy it. That and the stupid Hummel from France are two cars I'm very intrigued by. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, we spent some money and didn't go everywhere. Didn't go to Korea, but I'm sure it's just Hyundai. And we've unlocked some more events and we're gonna get further into this game. So come back to watch me do some events with these cars and I'll buy more cars obviously, but this is just the first time I've turned this on and bought, wanted to see what the cars were. 721, I don't didn't go through all 721, but that was certainly a huge goddamn majority of them, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, uh, if you wanna see me play more Gran Turismo, subscribe, like, whatever. I knew this was a long one, but yeah, Gran Turismo 4 seems great. Seems like a lot of, there seems like a lot to do and a lot to explore, like every other Gran Turismo. I've only, like I said, I've only ever done PSP and a little bit of 7. And those were great, so I'm very excited to get into Grand Turismo 4 like I never got a chance to do when I was younger. And for some reason, just haven't done until now. So um, stick around to eventually see me get into more Grand Turismo 4. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this dive into all the cars of Grand Turismo 4 and maybe even learn something with my weird ramblings. So uh, thank you, and we'll see you next time.